Manel Rio made history in 1992 when she played goalie for the Tampa Bay Lightning in an exhibition game. She was then and is now the only woman to have ever played in an NHL game. And her story is captured in a brand new kids book entitled Breaking the Ice, written by Angie Bolero. And both ladies join us now. Good morning. And uh, Manel, let's begin with you. You played five years of minor professional hockey on men's teams. You also took part in two years of training camp with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Can you take us back and what was the reaction of your male teammates uh, when you were on the team? You know, I have to say most of them were very supportive. Uh, at first they were not sure and I knew that the first day I would step on the ice in Tampa Bay that was really important for me uh, to perform and prove them that I was here to be at training camp like they were. So uh, I was really excited that first time I was on the ice. I did not allow any goal in my first game, uh, my first period and uh, it went very well. So I think I gained a lot of respect from the player at that point. And um, that's what earned me a start in an exhibition game after playing well in training camp. Now, Angie, I, this is kind of interesting. Despite the fact that you've helped Manel write this, write this book, I, I heard that you weren't much of a hockey fan at all before, before meeting Manel. And in fact, you, you kind of thought women in the NHL was, has happened. It, it happens fairly frequently. <laughs> I know. I believe I just, you just said that on a Canada morning show that I didn't like hockey. But don't worry, I love now. Um, yeah, I didn't. I just assumed a lot of women were playing in the NHL. And so we actually uh, were writing a script about her story. And I was like, let's find the first woman who did this. And then it turned out there was only one woman who did it. Um, and it was Manon, obviously. And it was such an amazing story. And I couldn't believe that more people didn't know about it. I mean, all the things that she went through to just be able to follow her dream was really incredible. And I think very inspiring. Now, at the time, I know you got a lot of press, of course, and talk shows uh, were after you. You were actually a guest on a Late Night with David Letterman, but uh, we understand that you weren't quite as starstruck. There's your appearance there. You weren't quite as starstruck as uh, one might imagine. Why not? Because I didn't know who David Letterman was. <laughs> I was so <laughs> back home. He speak French. I didn't have English TV at home, so I had no clue who David Letterman was. So it's not until later... 10 years later, living in the U.S. and see all the people that was on this show. I'm like, I cannot believe I was on this show. I guess it was a big deal what I did, being the first female to play in the NHL. <laughs> well, my question to you I is, do, you, do your sons know who their mom is? Because I know they play hockey. In fact, one of your sons, Dylan, is an NCAA goalie. So do they ever turn to mom for some hockey advice? You know, at first, uh, when I used to coach them when they were young, you know, I was just their mom. So they used to tell me, you don't know what you're talking about. But then as they start seeing like a TV show on me or people come up to me and ask me to sign an autograph, an autograph. So uh, then they start believing that I knew a little bit about it. So sometimes they come to me for advice or especially my oldest son that is a goalie now. Uh, we have a lot of comments. So we talk a lot about hockey. <laughs> Now, Angie, Manon's story is inspiring for people of all ages, but you both decided to write this as a kid's book. So what are you hoping that little boys and girls, what do you hope they take from the story? You know, the amazing thing about kids' books is that kids are at the exact age to have their life changed. And so we really just wanted to do a story for younger kids who could see this amazing thing happening and give them the courage to believe in their impossible dreams and just that anything is possible, right? As long as you work hard and you believe in it and you never give up to not let um, what others think about you or say about you or tell you that you can or can't do affect your dream and you're chasing that dream. Manel, it's been 28 years since you played in the NHL and there have been no women who have followed in your footsteps. Are you surprised at all? Absolutely. I am surprised. Uh, I think maybe one of the reasons is they have so much more opportunity for women now that plays hockey. You can play at a high level uh, just with women. You can play college hockey, uh, the national team, and now they have pro women's league. So maybe that's one of the reasons. Uh, but I'm really happy to see the NHL starting to involve the women's game uh, during that all-star game. And if that can continue this way, eventually we'll see a, a more solid professional women leagues. 
In the meantime, Breaking the Ice, the brand new book, is available now from Manon Rayon and, of course, Angie Bolero. Ladies, thank you both for your time this morning. Appreciate it. Good to chat with you. Thanks for having us.